Hi again! In this episode, we continue sharing innovative teaching approaches. Today, let's have a look at peer teaching and collaborative learning. Whether students teach each other or learn together, collaboration is key in helping them becoming active citizens. It also helps them to socialize with their peers. In short, giving migrant students more agency in the learning process will help them find a place in the classroom. So let's have a look at our three final projects that all use collaboration between students as a means for integration. Let's learn about STEM stands together, which enables students to both learn and socialize through various STEM activities. STEM stands together came about because of a real world problem. The proportion of migrant students in my school is about 5%, which is a significant number. Uh, and the communication between Turkish students and migrant students were, uh, was very limited. So I tried to break the communication barriers between students by using STEM approach as a common language. The first pilot study was conducted with 16 students. Half of the students were Turkish and half were immigrants. At the end of the three-hour workshop, both the academic skills of the students improved and they met, made new friendships. Six different STEM workshops were organized in five different cities. The project team created five sample learning scenarios to be used in teacher workshops. Participating teachers created and implemented their own learning scenarios after the workshop. All scenarios were compiled into a booklet and a total of 30 sample learning scenarios were reached. The booklet also includes tips for teachers anywhere in the world to adapt the project in their own classrooms. As for the results, the biggest different differentiation of the learning scenarios is undoubtedly the inclusivity and diversity context section. This section was implemented with practices such as students playing their own cultural games, introducing role models in their region, giving information about the food specific to their region, singing songs, presenting local house types, etc. In the project, we reach students indirectly. In this way, I estimate that I reach out 2,000 students and about 20% of whom are migrants. According to the feedback form filled by the teachers, the project is very useful. Students who are prejudiced against each other at the beginning of the workshop have the chance to get to know each other while reaching a common goal. At the end of the workshop, communication barriers are broken. Students know each other's name, start spending time together, and their friendship continues. These are really very important outcomes. Now it's time for Spark the Use of STEAM Outdoor, which has created STEAM activities and upscaled them to outdoor and environmental education. With this project, we um, supported and will be supporting preschool teachers with uh, activities that follow a STEAM approach and must be applied outdoors. We want with this to create uh, more knowledge and also to capacitate preschool teachers to use the STEAM approach in preschool education with the students, uh, but also to increase uh, the uh, um, environmental education. This project had three uh, main areas of intervention. With one, we developed a set of STEAM activities to be developed uh, outdoors and that are ready to use um, in preschool education. Another area, we uh, developed workshops and uh, work with preschools in, uh, in Portugal and in Greece uh, to demystify some opinions about the STEAM approach uh, that is complex and it's not. So we work with the preschool teachers and also guiding them to already implement some of the activities we created. And the, the STEAM activities are available in Portuguese, in English and in Greek at kokoro.pt. You will access a set of 10 STEAM activities. It's a full document uh, ready to use in your class in preschool education and for environmental education as well. They are following a four-step uh, process to implement 
and they are respecting the STEAM approach outdoors. So you just have to go to the website and access uh, the page dedicated to the project, Spark the Use of STEAM in Preschool Outdoors, and download the document. We believe that the project will contribute to provide a high quality education and develop the resilience and motivation of students and most importantly facilitate the inclusion of students with different social backgrounds, with migrants, dislocated students. By using the, stream, the STEAM approach and um, by accessing and using the, the set of activities that we developed for uh, preschools, uh, preschool teachers to use outdoors. We can use the science language that is universal and that can help students that, for instance, are not fluent in the language, in this case in Portuguese or in Greek, and can uh, still do the activities, explore, and, and by these use the same approach and at the same time uh, protect the environment and the climate. Finally, let's hear from Stream Role Models for All, which offers learning scenarios that follow a specific methodology and collaborative approach. We have achieved to prepare 10 learning scenarios, which were implemented in eight schools, four kindergarten schools and four primary schools. And uh, we have also um, had um, three focus groups, were held um, and the first one was uh, to develop learning scenarios, the second to, to discuss the implementation and the third one has to do with the uh, feedback uh, through relevant uh, questionnaire and also we had a meeting uh, with parents and um, to inform them about this project and highlight uh, their perceptions with um, this uh, participation. Um, and finally, we had a um, presentation event of uh, the project and uh, we had um, about 100 uh, registrations uh, from teachers. The basic idea has to do with um, learning scenarios focused on uh, STEAM activities, uh, following a specific uh, methodology and uh, collaborative uh, inquiry-based uh, process. And uh, this project targets uh, on preschool students from different cultural and language backgrounds and was aimed to develop positive STEAM identities by increasing their exposure, exposure to STEAM uh, experiences. The deliverable so outputs of uh, the lesson plans with the uh, STEAM activities which have been created I have uh, some uh, titles, for example, um, playing with uh, three leaves in our schoolyard or listen to a sound or about a uh, circle of a bee or robot or a uh, boat, little boat. And uh, of course, uh, about recycling and um, has um, specific um, aims and uh, target. Maybe uh, the change has to do with um, uh, this exposure to uh, these STEM acti um, activities and uh, also uh, the desire of uh, students to learn about um, STEM and STEM professions and of, cor uh, of course uh, STEM um, uh, generally. So um, it was uh, very uh, interesting for them and also for teachers and parents. Thank you very much for your interest and for more information we invite you to check the descriptions of the projects where you will find the links to the projects and their respective materials. We invite you to share these episodes with your colleagues and spread the word about these solutions. We also would like to read your comments. Many thanks to Scientix and Cisco for making this initiative possible.